Have you ever wondered what causes eclipses? Every year, the Earth goes around the Sun. Every month, the Moon goes around the Earth. Every day, the Earth turns on its axis. Hey, slow that down! The Moon shines because it reflects the light of the Sun. It doesn't produce its own light. Half of the Moon is always lit up by the Sun. Watch its motion during a month. You see that half the moon is always lit. But during the month, more or less of that lighted side can be seen from Earth. And we call this changing appearance the faces of the moon. Watch again. See how it looks from Earth. The full moon is opposite to the sun and so it always rises about sunset. Did you ever notice that? At the new moon, the moon is in the direction of the sun. The side of the moon facing us is dark. Also, because the moon rises and sets with the sun, the new moon is only up during daytime and never up at night. However, every year, there are times when the new moon can block all or part of the sun, creating a solar eclipse. At full moon, the moon can pass through the Earth's shadow, causing a lunar eclipse. Notice that everyone on the night side of the Earth can see the lunar eclipse. For that reason, lunar eclipses are not so rare. You might wonder, why isn't there a solar eclipse every new moon? And why isn't there a lunar eclipse every full moon? This is because the moon's orbit is tipped about 5 degrees compared to the Earth's orbit around the sun. We've made the moon bigger, so you can see better. If we show Earth and moon to scale, you'll see how small the shadow of the moon is by the time it reaches Earth. So more often than not, the moon's shadow misses Earth when it is new, and Earth's shadow misses the moon when it is full. Roughly twice a year, eclipses are possible. The Earth's orbit around the Sun and the moon's orbit around the Earth are not perfect circles. They are slightly oval. There are times when the new moon is farther from Earth and is too small to completely block the sun. During an annular eclipse, there is a ring of fire around the sun. By the way, when the moon is closer to the Earth than average, some call it a supermoon. Though 5% bigger isn't exactly super. If a solar eclipse happens when the moon is closer to the Earth, we call it a total eclipse. You can only see amazing phenomena like pink prominences at the edge of the sun and the beautiful solar corona stretching across the sky if you are viewing from the path of totality. If we zoom in to see the moon's shadow, you'll see that it has a dark part and a lighter part. If you are standing in the dark part, you are in the path of totality. The sun is completely covered, and you will see a total eclipse. In the lighter shadow, some part of the sun can always be seen, so you see a partial eclipse. A lot of people think that if you see a 90% eclipse, you've seen most of the show. No way! The sun is so bright that even a sliver of it keeps the sky lit, and you'll miss the most awesome stuff. If you possibly can, go into the path of totality. You'll remember it for the rest of your life. Visit the website www.colorado.edu fisk or search Fisk Planetarium Eclipse for more information.